Okay, so I found a thing for uh, D4 bar skip. Um, I'm going to show it off. So pretty much you wait. Okay, I thought I delayed. <laughs> um, what you do is you run off this uh, this top area right here. Uh, you run off of that, and then one frame before Mario falls off, you release right. So you see how he goes from 31 to 32 speed, and then the frame after he goes back down to 31. But then he doesn't go back down, he, his speed doesn't go down anymore, because he fell off the frame after I released right. Well, you know what I mean. So if you did it right, under rule, it should say uh, A10, I guess. Actually, would it change? Yeah. If you, if you did it normally, it would say A30, so it says A10, then you're good. But it's only there for a couple of frames, so I wouldn't really use that. It's on screen for what one, two, three, four, five, like four frames. So, and then you repress right ten frames later, I think, or eleven. I'm like bad at math. I think it's ten frames, but I don't know. And what I think would be good as like a visual cue would be like when Mario is about to be lined up with the middle of like this this step you repress right you continue jump height doesn't really matter what matters is that you're just at full speed the whole time land keep holding right then frame perfect jump on Oh, 039. I'm dumb. I'll change that. Yeah, so jump on frame 39. Jump height doesn't matter. It can be a one framer, be a two framer, three framer, whatever. So jump height doesn't matter. All that matters is that you just jump on the right frame. And then, obviously, depending on what frame rule you start on, you may or may not get bad Potaboo, because we love Potaboo. So, yeah, that, uh, that's the setup <laughs> uh, for D4 bar skip, I guess. Just kind of made this on a whim, so it's not the best, but whatever. It works, so yeah. <laughs>